Hello students. In part 3, we learnt how to represent the irrational number on a number line. Right? In this video, we will learn how to represent the decimal number on a number line. Decimal number means, here we are talking about the rational numbers. Means fraction. The fraction is written in a decimal number. Right? So now, let's see how to represent the decimal number on a number line. Example 1. Represent 2.665 on number line. This is our number line. 2.665 is lies between 2 and 3. Now, we will magnify the 2 and 3. So, here 2.665 lies between 2.6 and 2.7. In step 3, 2.665 lies between 2.66 and 2.67. In step 4, we get a required answer. Therefore, 2.665 lies between 2.66 and 2.67. Next, we will see the operations on real numbers. First one, commutative property. In addition, a plus b equal to b plus a. In multiplication, a into b equal to b into a. Second one, associative property. In addition, a plus into b plus c equal to a plus b plus c a into b into c equal to a into b into c next third distributive property a into b plus c equal to a into b plus a into c now we will see some interesting facts on real numbers first if two numbers are rational then answer will be Rational. Suppose if you add 2 plus 2 equal to 4. If you subtract 2 minus 2 equal to 0. If you multiply 2 into 4 equal to 8. If you divide 2 by 5. What is the answer when you add, subtract, multiply and divide? Answer will always will be in a rational number. Because the rational number consists of all natural number, whole number integers and fractions. Right? Next, if two numbers are irrational, then answer will be rational and irrational. If you add root 3 plus root 3, we get 2 root 3. If you subtract root 2 minus root 2 equal to 0. If you multiply root 2 into root 3 equal to root 6. If you divide root 2 divided by root 3. Three answers are in irrational number and this is in rational. Next, if one number be rational and another be irrational, then answer will be always irrational. When you add two numbers, let 2 will be the rational plus root 3 will be the irrational. We get 2 plus root 3. So, this is the irrational number, right? Similarly, in subtraction, 2 is the rational number. Root 3 is the irrational number. When we subtract 2 minus root 3, this is also irrational number. Similarly, when we multiply 2 into root 3, here 2 is an rational and root 3 is a irrational. Similarly, when we divide, 2 is the rational number and divided by root 3 is the irrational number. So, if one number be rational and another be irrational, then the answer will be always in irrational. Next, we will see the laws of exponent for real numbers. Archimedes invented the laws of exponent. Now, here we will see some laws of exponent given by Archimedes. So, first one, a raised to m, a raised to n equal to a raised to m plus n. So, here a is the identical basis and m and n is the exponent. Second one, a raised to m divided by a raised to n equal to a raised to m minus n. Next, third one, a raised to m into n equal to a raised to m into n. Fourth, a raised to m into b raised to m equal to a b raised to m. Now, let's see the example for the first law. Question number one, 2 raised to 2 by 3 into 2 raised to 1 by 3 equal to 2 raised to 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 equal to 2 raised to 3 by 3. 
that is equal to 2 raised to 1 which is nothing but the 2. Next take example for the second law a raised to m divided by a raised to n equal to a raised to m minus n. So question is 7 raised to 1 by 5 divided by 7 raised to 1 by 3 which is equal to 7 raised to 1 by 5 minus 1 by 3 which is nothing but the 7 raised to minus 2 by 15. Let us take the next example for the third law that is a raised to m into n equal to a raised to m into n. The question is 3 raised to 1 by 5 whole raised to 4. So 3 raised to 1 by 5 into 4 which is nothing but the 3 raised to 4 by 5. Next example for the fourth law a raised to m into b raised to n equal to a b raised to m. So the question is 13 raised to 1 by 5 into 17 raised to 1 by 5 which is equal to 13 into 17 whole raised to 1 by 5 which is equal to 221 whole raised to 1 by 5. So in this video we have learnt representing the decimal number on number line, operation on real numbers and loss of exponent.